You are challenged to evaluate your general applications named Iraq because you don't have any evaluation data set? Or you want to fine-tune some language models but you're challenged because you don't have any training data to fine-tune your language model? Well, maybe there are some open source solutions that can let you synthetically generate all these data sets for evaluation or fine-tuning but based on your data so you can immediately use them. Let me show you how. Then. Let's go! Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you! all right so let's get into synthetic data generation for generative ai or llm application so first of all let's discuss with why do you need synthetic data there are a variety of different reasons that how you can use gen ai or you need synthetic data for your gen AI application one of the primary reason is that let's say you want to fine-tune some language models and obviously for fine-tuning as you know you might need to have some um, training data set to fine-tune the model for your specific purposes and that's why having a data that is labeled for fine-tuning is essential and majority of the times you don't have it so we're gonna see how with Pluto which is an open source uh, solution can help us to generate synthetic data which on back and it actually uses LLM for creating data for you that you can use it to fine-tune another language model so this is just one scenario that you need synthetic data. The other scenario is that let's say you have RAG application and you want to evaluate your generic application, you need evaluate evaluation data set, which is the second scenario. And we're going to talk about both of that shortly. So let's just start with the first one, how we can create synthetic data for fine tuning language models. What you need to do, just simply install Pluto data. And here I'm using OpenAI, but you can use different language models to create synthetic data. So let me jump into my um google co-op here as you can see i'm installing pluto data i'm installing opening i'm going to use also langchain and for creating evaluation data set for my rag application i'm going to create drag i'm going to talk about that but for for now let's just skip that and focus on pluto so i ran this notebook and i removed that my opening a key before recording this video and you can see here pluto actually do two steps for creating my synthetic data. First, with the given title, which we call it root prompt, it's going to create subtopics about this main topic. Let's say we're gonna create a fine-tuned language model uh, that is specific for functionalities of NumPy, which is the topic that we're going to actually create. So after just running this part, you'll see that it's gonna create a JSONL file that has subtopics from this or, or topic tree from this main topic we specified so let me show you how that looks like if i click on this here so you can see that we just said functionalities of numpy and here are subtopics so element wise operation slicing and indexing broadcasting aggregation these are subtopics about um functionalities of numpy and we are creating these subtopics so we can create fine-tuning data out of each subtopic to make sure our fine-tuning data is not repeated. So here so far I have almost 100 subtopics created from this main topic and of course you can specify the number of that with the depth and degree here and I use GPT 3.5 for creating that. Now with having these subtopics now I'm going to create fine-tuned samples based on these subtopics with this prompt that is going to create a simulated user question and sort of answer that I can use for fine-tuning a language model that is specified to answer functionalities of NumPy for example and for this stage I'm going to use GPT-4 and as you can see the answer is also st stored in JSONL so why JSONL? JSONL is one of the most typical and standard format for fine-tuning models that means as soon as you have this you can just upload let's say on OpenAI or Azure OpenAI different places that they support fine-tuning just click on fine tuning and have your language model fine tune with just using this JSONL format. So to just show you the final results, let's check it out. So you can see that here the system message for all these samples are the same, which doesn't matter really. But let me see if I can make it bigger actually. 
all right now it's much better so i have the system message here if you scroll right there you go so this is what a synthetic user asks question for example i have this area blah 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 there's a question about numpy issue and here's the content that is responded by gpt4 so same thing user question and the answer or or prompt and completion with doing this now i have 100 of the simulated data set that i can use it for fine tuning and the language model with starting with really nothing just two prompts and that's all and also the topic of course you can modify this as needed based on your use case but i think this is a good way to start if you have no data set for fine tuning your model and make sure when you generate this you go back and modify it as human input in place as well all right so that was about synthetic data for fine tuning but how about having some synthetic data for evaluating this is why i'm going to talk a little bit more about ragas which is an open source solution they have a lot of great resources on metrics that you can use for evaluating language models and one of them is how you can create test data for evaluating your rag application so for this example they're just cloning a data set from hugging face obviously you can have uh, yours and the rest i actually ran that in google collab so i got to show you how and explain what it does so let me scroll a little bit down and by the way these are also the result of that fine tuning data that i just talked about okay so i captured the data from hugging face but again you can actually have it yours it's md format so i have the data set loaded with a langchain community package you can maybe use llama index doesn't matter really and then for using the model that i'm going to have for generating this synthetic data i'm going to use gpt40 so technically what happened here is that ragas will try to chunk your data see your chunk and based on each chunk it try to generate a user sample and response question so you can use it for evaluating your rag application with of course the test size you specify so if i scroll down my data set is now converted to pandas you'll see that it has a user input and the chunk which is rag actually and the answer which is based on actually the chunk that we gave it to the to the language model to give the response back so technically what i did i just imported ragas showed my data it saw my data and then it generated evaluation data set with some user questions and answer examples so i can take it i can use this input give it to my rag application and see what is the response if the response is not close to this that means our rag is doing something wrong. So you can use it for hallucination detection, groundness, correctness, relevancy, so on and so forth. They do have a more deep dive example of that if you go to the deeper look that you're using knowledge graph creation, which is technically creating a knowledge graph out of your data set to be able to better categorize your data and create simulated evaluation data set out of chunks of your data and shows you how also you can customize that as needed but by the end of the day you will have a similar scenario you have the user input and the answer so you can use it for your own use cases all right so that was a quick video an overview of why you need synthetic data at some points and what are different scenarios you can use synthetic data and on back end you see they're still also using language model and these two packages when i went through that i found that actually they're pretty good very easy to start and worth actually creating an awareness out of it all right i hope you enjoyed this video i will add uh, the code that i use in video description uh below in discord channel the discord channel link is in the video description and if you like the video i would be very happy if you click on like icon thank you so much